as we head to our tail of the tape, brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go for our main event of the evening. Both fighters, 26. Both fighters, five foot seven inch. Andrew Cruz has a slight weight advantage. The reach advantage goes four inches to Vince Morales, who leaves CenturyLink Arena as the front street fights featherweight champion. We will find out in just mere moments as we go inside the cage with cage announcer Britt Talbert. Fight fans, here we go. We've reached that point in the evening, the moment you've been waiting for. We are now ready for the main event of the evening. This fight is for the Front Street Fights Featherweight Championship and is scheduled for five five-minute rounds and is brought to you by Bodybuilding.com, the world's number one supplement store with the best selection and fastest shipping. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my right, standing at a five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds, with a record of four wins against just one defeat. From Ontario, Oregon, representing Brooklyn in the world, Vince Vendetta Morales! <laughs> Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner to my left. Standing in at five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds, with a record of four wins against zero defeats from Boise, Idaho! Once again, Tom Subnett, fighter instructions, please. All right, guys, this is the main event. I want to see a good, clean fight. Follow my instructions at all times and defend yourself at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Boise, Idaho, I ask you, are you ready for a downtown throwdown? All right, here we go. Intense and focused is Vince Morales. Intense and a little more relaxed is Andrew Cruz, focused as well. We are underway. One of these two gentlemen leaves the featherweight champion. Who is it going to be? We are about to find out. It's going to start fast. Andrew's got to keep his hands up. Keep those hands tight. Oh, hard right hand. This could be over early. This could be over early. Can Andrew escape this? Vince Morales got to stay tight. He's got to stay tight. Vince has to create space. And again, Andrew Cruz back on the attack, making Vince walk away for it. Both of these fighters fast and furious. He got it. He knocked him down, but Andrew Cruz is back up. Andrew will go hard. Woo. He's got to remember to kind of keep a little bit of emotion unchecked there. Hey, that's okay. Andrew Cruz Vince doing the smart thing single. at this point. Pinned Vince right, in the cage, right, slowing it down. They both got their initial right, rushes out. Five five minute rounds of fast start like this, you're gonna see who's in better shape. Who put the work in during the training camp? As Scott mentioned, the championship bout is five five minutes rounds. So conditioning really gonna play a factor in this one. And when he seemed to be out of it, Andrew Cruz is right back in it, and at this point. Really making Vince Morales work for it, even though he's landing some of those rights. He's got a lot of quality, those connecting to the side of the head. Andrew's right back in this one. He is. You know, he took a couple big shots. He, he seems to have recovered. The round's not fully lost. There's he's grabbing the cage, though. Uh, I mean, Andrew can still win this round, and he's starting to right now. You know, did the right thing, put him on the back. Now he's got to do the work and land strikes. Again, as Scott mentioned too, you can use the cage to push off. You cannot grab the cage for control. Referee Tom Sutton doing a good job of making sure neither fighter does one of those. And two minutes into this fight, again, five minute rounds. We saw the action fast and furious. Some of the punches that Andrew withstood there, good two hard shots that could have ended this fight, able to fight his way through it. And, and really right back into this one, making Vince work for it, chasing him around, not letting him go. It'll be interesting to see 
how how Vince can handle his pace. Andrew, I know I've spar I spar with the guy. Yeah. Okay, he can keep the pace. He doesn't tire real easy. So it'll be interesting. Because this is a pretty fairly fast-paced five-round fight. And we've seen it before again when we alluded to uh, Vince Morales's fight against Hamilton Ash at Bellator. Two rounds, he was controlled. Hamilton Ash had that fight for two rounds, and it came out of nowhere. Both of these fighters are capable of doing that because, again, Andrew Cruz, when he fought Abraham Campos at FSF 9, Abraham Campos had the good first half of that round. Andrew Cruz coming into that fight towards the end of round number one, the final three seconds, gets the arm bar. So both of these fighters, very, very capable of winning this fight at a moment's notice and out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, three minutes in, we got a minute 45 left. Andrew's done a really good job of starting to take control of this fight, closing the distance, minimizing strikes, and scoring some takedowns. Controlling the cage, which is one big thing the judges are going to look at when they score this round. Final 90 seconds of a round number one to decide the front street fights featherweight title between Vince Morales and Andrew Cruz. Again, if you're watching online on youtube.com slash front street fights, or on Cable One, Channel 72. Feel free to talk about this fight on social media using the hashtag Morales vs. Cruz. As you saw Vince Morales throwing about three or four hard elbows in Andrew Cruz, but again, Andrew with standing that pressure and keeping Vince against the cage, really making him work for it in this final minute of round number one. He stayed diligent to that takedown. Now he's got to make it count, though. He took some big shots there while he's in on the shot. Now he has to make it count. He's got to land some big strikes. He's got to put him in danger. He's got to do something to really take control and win this round. Otherwise, I see he's going to Vince. Final 40 seconds. Round number one, Vince Morales starting to show a little bit more control. Andrew Cruz doing a good job. Getting a couple shots in there. Vince doing a good job blocking them as well, too. Big shots, and that's what he needs. He needs to close this round out with some really big shots. And maintain As the top control. As we see the control. action picking back up again, Andrew Cruz, good upper knee, and they're swinging for the fences. Gets out another takedown. Into the final 15 seconds. Finishes with another takedown. I think Andrew stole this round in that last 20 seconds. It started fast, it slowed down, and it ended fast. We have reached the end of round number one. If you're fighting for a title, as a matchmaker, you put two guys together. You want to see this intensity. Are you getting what you expect out of a championship bout, Scott? Yeah. That's what they needed. They, I mean, both guys, they started fast. They, you know, you get into the grappling situation, it's going to slow things down. Both guys are still working. It takes a lot of energy, and you can see at the end of that round, they finished fast, but now both of them, as soon as that, round, that bell rang, both big, big breaths trying to recover. As we go to the Project Filter replay, brought to you by Project Filter, we decided to show you how. There was the first of two punches that really could have knocked out Andrew Cruz. He was able to withstand both of those. Vince Morales doing a wonderful job of not letting the pressure up. Andrew Cruz gets his wits about him with there. He's chasing him about the cage, and as you see here, towards the end of the fight, it was Andrew Cruz with the positioning, going for a big upper knee there. And as they started the round, they end the round with a few fast punches. Andrew Cruz able to get Vince back down to the ground as we get ready for round number two to decide the Front Street Fights featherweight title. Yeah, I'll say it time and time again. At any level, these guys aren't going to move their feet and keep their hands up. You're going to see guys go down. So let's see if Andrew learned from that. And neither one of them. We're starting round number two just like we started round number one. Nice, the beautiful right shot. The Good shot. Good shot. Andrew Cruz again doing what he needs to do. Vince Morales had some great striking opportunities. Andrew able to duck that, as well as Vince ducked a couple by Andrew. And uh, Vince, Andrew, excuse me, Andrew able to get Vince down to the cage and, and start controlling him against that cage again. Yeah, Andrew baited him really well into throwing heavy right off the bat and got that takedown. Stiff left shot. Good shot. Again, he's picking his opportunities. Vince just countering with three or four rights again, and he gets the elbow coming. Another hard takedown by Andrew Cruz. It may not seem like it, but those shots, those elbows when Andrew's in on the shot and those elbows behind the ear, those will knock you out. If you, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but you've got to be very careful. Andrew's got to be a little bit more mindful of when he's in on that position to really finish quickly or get out. Vince trying to 
distance yes. himself from Andrew yes. Cruz again, doing a good job of striking from the ground, knowing when to cover up again. Cruz. Again, picking his opportunity, hey, lands a couple there. of rights Give there. Give me elbows. Take the back. Take the back. Take the back. He's got to control this back position. There's about four left shots right there. Vince Morales trying to figure out what he's got to do to get out of this one. He's got to do something. He's got a good eye on this one. Good control. Andrew Cruz has got him back in the cage. He's got the left coming in. Andrew's, Andrew's Vince Morales is trying to get out of this one. This is he's sinking thing. down Andrew Cruz. Picking his spots. Again, we've talked a lot tonight. Quantity over quality. Andrew Cruz doing a good job at this point of picking quality and picking his time. He is. He's doing a very good job of taking his time. I mean, he's not throwing a thousand punches. He's looking to try and make them count. He knows one will end the fight, and he's really looking for it. Ben's doing a good job pushing himself away from the cage, giving himself more room to maneuver to try to get out of this onslaught as Andrew Cruz still has a great job controlling Vince. He's got side control, doesn't have full back. Again, just taking his opportunities, taking his time at this point. And Vince has really got to do something to get out of it as we got two and a half minutes in round number two of our championship main event title fight. Andrew's just got to control this position. Vince, listen to this crowd chanting Vince for Cruz. has to get up to his feet, and he's starting to work to his feet finally here. And if Cruz doesn't pull that leg out, he could be in trouble. But he drags him back to the ground. Cruz do a good job of taking the leg out from under Vince, getting him back down to the ground where he's been successful for the better part of the last two minutes. Vince withstanding a ton of punishment at this point. Yes, but Vince knows that leg's laced in there, and he knows if he can roll him, and that's why he's rolling here to, towards the cage. He knows with that leg that Andrew's got hooked inside, he can sweep him, and he got it out. I mean, Andrew got it out. Tom Sumner in monitoring the action, giving the guys the warnings, go at it or he's going to stand him up. Also maybe making Vince aware that he's got to show signs of life in this fight. 90 seconds left in a round at number two. 90 seconds in this position is a lifetime. He's, he's been in it for about two minutes as well. Off and on again. Here comes Andrew Cruz letting those fists fly. He's, work, he's doing the right thing. See, he's getting back to his feet. He's trying to fight the shoulder inside. He wants to get back and square and square up, kind of face him. He's Andrew doing a good job. He had the weight on top of his shoulders. Gets him down to the ground, and here come those fists again. We are down to the final minute of a round ah. of number two. And here comes Vince Morales back to his feet. Wow. But if Andrew doesn't keep his hands up, he's gonna pay for that last three minutes of pressure he put on him. Again, you right there. count Vince Morales out. Two hard right hands. He dropped Andrew Cruz down to the ground. Now Andrew's like gotta be worried. He's got 40 seconds and he's hurt. It's going, Vince Morales unrelenting, not letting it go. Can Andrew Cruz withstand this one? He rolls out, but Vince Morales is right Regains guard, and he needs to break the guard. He needs to break his posture. Final He's looking for an arm bar. seconds left. Going for that arm bar. He likes it. We know Andrew Cruz is capable of it. Vince has to be very careful This is what right you now. wanted. This crowd is electric. Now it's Andrew Cruz with the hard right hand. Those are big shots. we down for the final 10 seconds. Are we going to get to round number three? You can see round three. It is round three. Standing ovation from the crowd inside Central Arena for both fighters. Oh my God. There's one thing I don't I know do whose know. catchphrase I still stole, but I just stole <laughs> it and I don't care. There's one thing I know, Andrew will take a beating and he will stand back up and he will keep fighting. So those big shots, they hurt him, but that's how much heart this kid has that he's gonna come back and just go. In the same thing with Vince Morales, because we were talking about it, the position that he was in for the better part of that second round to withstand the quality shots that Andrew was showing, to be in that position and to come back out of nowhere for that last round flurry as we take a look at the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter, you decide when. We'll show you how both fighters, my God, hey, this, this is amazing. The third round's gonna tell you one thing though, who's the fighter fighter, the raw fighter, and who's a cognitive fighter? Because at this point, when you're both tired, it becomes a, cog a game of, of, of smarts. Um, you know, it's gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna see how it plays out, I guess. All right, the cage door is closed. 
How does round number three play out? We are gonna find out right now. The crowd comes alive. We are underway in round number three. Hands up, Andrew, hands up. Andrew's not looking in a great position right now. He's looking tired. You can see the welts on both fighters' faces. These punches definitely showing the damage. Andrew's hands have dropped considerably, and there it is, see? Without your hands being high, you've got no defense. Probably, if, if you're gonna point one out, the biggest mistakes that Andrew's made in this fight, again, He's dropping hands that hands, and he, you, you saw it almost to begin the fight when the fight started. It was almost over as soon as it started, because again, Andrew keeps dropping his hands, and Vince doing a very good job of capitalizing on his opportunities. That's a practice thing. That's something you have to break in the practice room long before you ever step in this cage. If you do that in practice every day, you're gonna do it out here. Good left shot there by Vince Morales. Andrew's tired, and he's looking for one big shot right now. And he needs to just move and recover. On the other side, Vince needs to keep pressure on him. He's he tired. He does. Andrew, as you said, mentioned and shown a little bit of tiredness there. Vince, you couldn't even tell. Both of these fighters really, Vince Morales really just kind of toying with Andrew in this part. Good three or four hard shots. We've seen Vince getting the better of the striking as we begin the third round. Andrew going for the single leg takedown. Vince able to push away from him. And actually almost took out Tom Sutton there. One big shot's not gonna do it for Andrew, obviously. He's, he, needs to, he needs to recover mentally and get ready to Good fight. overhand right by Vince Morales, and here come the onslaught. Good stiff, straight right shot there. Andrew back down to the ground, counters it with another left and a right. Trying to fit a knee in there, but Vince stopped it with strikes. Vince Morales is focused at this point. He as Vince we has are to two be careful, minutes into though. round number three. I call it the Homer Simpson effect. Sometimes guys are just too tough for their own good, and they're gonna take shots, and they're gonna let that guy punch themselves out. And if, if that keeps happening, you're gonna see both guys very, very tired. Oh! Andrew Cruz going for the leg kick. He gets it, and Vince Morales tells him to bring on some more. Good body shot, good left to Andrew Cruz via Vince Morales. He tags it with another left and right. Down goes Andrew Cruz. I don't Cruz. think that hurt Andrew very much. I think Andrew's more tired than he is punched. Hurt. Andrew Cruz going for the spinning backhand again. It works, it works, it doesn't, it doesn't. This is the second one we've seen tonight. First one by Andrew Cruz. Vince right back in it. The relentless punches, but look at Andrew Cruz, tired as he may be, still taking that punishment. He's still standing in there as we approach the three minute mark of round number three. He's gotta pick his hands up. No matter how tired you are, you shouldn't be that tired to not you know, keep your hands up. It's just gonna end bad. We talked about it. Oh, there it is, a shot that was a slip. slip. A left, that one all right. Vince Morales is it. Vince Morales does it. Vince Morales wins the Front Street Fight Featherweight Champion. your new Front Street Fights featherweight champion over an impressive victory over Andrew Cruz. Kudos to both fighters. Unquestionably, the fight of the night. As we go take a look at the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter, you decide when we show you how. Visit projectfilter.org. You talked about it. It was the hands of Andrew Cruz may have been his undoing keeping him low most of the third round, really opening himself up for the shots that ended it. Yeah, it was. You know, his hands were down, and he, you know, you're that late in a fight, and you're getting hit, and you want to close the gap, and you're going to chase. And that's where he went wrong. You know, he's trying to chase. He's got his hands down, and that's the big issue right there. All right, we are just moments away from making this one official and officially handing the Front Street Fights Featherweight Championship to Vince Van Detta Morales. Rick Calvert is going to head inside the cage. We are going to step aside in just a second. Just getting the final few instructions.
They are in the hands of Britt Talbert. We are going to step aside as Britt Talbert heads into the cage to make this one official as Vince Vandetta Morales wins the Front Tree Fights Featherweight Championship as we send it in to Britt Talbert. Hey, Boise, Idaho, did you guys expect anything less from these two warriors here tonight? Here we go. Our winner, referee Tom Subnet stops the fight at 3.07 of the third round, improving his record to five wins against one defeat. Out of the blue corner, Vince Vendetta. And a correction there, the record's now gonna go to six and one. We're gonna turn it over to Matt Johnson for our post-fight interview. All right, congratulations, Vince Vandetta Morales. You got the featherweight strap around your waist. You gotta feel pretty good right about now. Looks good. <laughs> Did we get it the right size on you? Does it fit? It's small enough, yeah. <laughs> All right, man, we got a, undoubtedly one of the best fights that we've seen in Front Street fights. You both went back and forth, inflicting a lot of damage. You both started the first round very, very fast. You almost had the victory right off the bat. Andrew coming back, able to control it. Again, you guys battle in the first round to close it very fast and furious. And at times in the second round, maybe not your best round, you looked out of it. How did you withstand the punishment that Andrew was throwing towards your way? It, it was fine, really. I was mainly kind of trying to, I, I don't want to say rest, but I was resting a little bit. So and it was kind of, it was just annoying little shots. Nothing really phase me, it kind of looks like it, but yeah, no, uh, it was a rough round for sure. All right, finally, that third and final round, uh, as you both recover, you just talk about what you saw in front of you uh, to end in, in pick your shot to end the fight. What did you see there? I, I just knew I had to keep it standing, keep my distance, and eventually I'd find, find a few shots to put him away. Um, he's tough, though, man. I was hitting him hard. I was hitting him hard. <laughs> I like to thank him for his service too, because I know he does his arm and stuff, and he, he's, a, he's a big supporter of that, and he's out there, and he's the reason why any of us can even do this. So just thank you to Andrew Cruz. I mean, that's a, that's a man. Awesome, very, very great words there to end the fight. Finally, we know you got friends and family in the crowd. You know you got some great sponsors. Who would you like to thank before we get out of here? All, all my sponsors, really. A big one for me has been Ogawa's um, from my hometown. The guy I grew up with, he, I mean, he's been helping me out great. Got Adio Spahn. Uh, mayhem printing it on my shirts, salon services, Capital Electric, Grit Mouth Cards. All those guys just been, been great for me. I mean, everything really helps out and makes this possible because I, I still have to, unfortunately, work a full-time job and still train for these kind of fights. And it's not easy, but they, they definitely they make it a lot easier. All right, Andrew, big congratulations. Excuse me, Vince. Wow. Uh, don't hurt me for that one. Let's hear it one more time. Your front three fights, featherweight champion, Vince Vanadetta Morales.